thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we appreciate your support. Um, my name is Kimani. I am a father. Uh, I am a husband. I am a man of God. Um, I, I work in IT. You know what I'm saying? What about you? Introduce yourself, babe. Tell them who you is. Hey, guys. My name is Nikki. I am a wife to this guy right here. I ain't just this guy now. Give um, me my respect. I am also a mother of four, 14, 16, 8, and 4. All girls. Um, I am a hairstylist slash entrepreneur, and I also serve in multiple ministries in our church. We've been together for 15 years <sighs> in July Hi. and 22 all together since, well, 22 all together in November. <laughs> um, so this is my high school sweetheart. Been together since I was 14. He was 16. Um, purpose of this vlog, um, we wanted to start a vlog several months ago, um, but um, you know, right now is the perfect time. Uh, we're in a house because of quarantine. Um, and we just want to show, uh, we, we do traveling, uh, we do, um, we want to talk, have some discussions about relationships and uh, being parents and um, you know, we like to have fun and then we do some, some ministry. Um, we will do some reviews on some things as well. Uh, and then challenges when dealing with, you know, health, physical fitness. We have one. some goals, you know, we want to lose some weight, you know, and uh, just be healthier individuals. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right, it is April 21st. 2020 uh, we are currently under quarantine because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, it's been over a month and a few days uh, we've been um, stuck in the house I'm not able to go to work I'm, I've been working from home um, the, the children have been home um, going to school online mm -hmm. and um, we're just trying to cope with what's going on um, during this situation mm -hmm. um, so for you, what are some challenges of COVID-19? <laughs> some challenges for me are with us being quarantined right now, I'm not able to work with me doing being a stylist. Um, so all salons are shut down right now in Ohio. Um, a big challenge for me is sitting down and helping my children with their schoolwork. Um, I have an eight-year-old where I have to basically learn her way of learning is completely different from what ours was growing up. So that's very frustrating. They don't like to, they don't like to carry the one. You know, they, and it's so easy. It's like stuff. the easiest way ever. So I, I, anyways, um, down to us having a four-year-old who I basically have to come up with um lesson plans for her so that she can stay up to date with her learning and be ready for kindergarten which is very 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 rough because she is a child who wants to do what she wants to do when mm -hmm. she wants to do it mm -hmm. oh sorry what challenges do you have challenges that i have um um, like I said before, I am working from home, so um, I do have an office, and then my children come in the office while I'm trying to work, and it becomes very distracting. Um, there's no sports, you know what I'm saying? The the no no, it's supposed to be the NBA playoffs is supposed to be coming up, you know. Well, I during do like basketball, but NBA playoffs is supposed <laughs> to be coming, but it's not. Um, that's probably going to be either canceled or postponed. Um, you know, the you know football season is going to come up in what in August. You know, college. I'm really into college football. Go Bucks. Go OSU Bucks. Um, you know, then NFL. So that sucks. There's no sports. I'm watching reruns. I'm watching old fights. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. You know, that's one of one of watching some of the old wire. 
shows. Amen. I mean, watches them from the beginning of the first season. It's not Wire. It's The Wire. Get it? Don't the Wire. Put the respect respect on the name now. Um, do you have any positives? Positive, positives. Um, I think um, during this time, uh, we are able to spend more quality time um, with us mm -hmm. as well as our children. Um, you know, we're all confined confined to our house pretty much for the for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, you know, also just you know being able to you know I think during this time we're able to slow down because we just run like so quick every day every week there's something going on there's some event that we have to attend but now we're just in a time of like peace um, where everything is just just more more slow so we can really really enjoy life even though it felt like we enjoyed life when when things are going like this but we can really just take take a moment to just just relax you know no <laughs> like that one I too am a quality time person so the quality time is a huge thing for me and I appreciate it um, although sometimes I do need my space from the children oh you don't say that when I look at you you don't need your space for me huh you don't need your space for me yeah sometimes I do oh, need do? my space from you just like you need your space for me right sure Okay. So tell me, what are some things that you've noticed um, during this whole COVID-19 pandemic? Um, one thing I have noticed is the positivity down my social media timeline. It seems to outweigh the negative, which is really good because it's always negative comments or um opinions about what other people are posting and stuff like that so it's good to see pictures of families people coming together um yeah what about you um some stuff that i just noticed when when i am able to go out um the grass looks greener the sky looks bluer um the air feels cleaner to me um the sun is brighter um, and it's springtime too. You know, we just came from an Ohio winter, so it wasn't that bad this year though. But um, mm -hmm. it just seems like the, the earth is more um, beautiful, you know? And it, just, it could be just because we're in the house all the time, but you know, that's just one. Well, probably like a couple weeks ago, we were driving and I kept smelling fish. And I'm like, what is that smell? Do you remember me saying that? And I was like, it smells like somebody cooking fish or something. And I don't know why I said cooking fish because it really don't smell like cooking fish, but it, it was a fishy smell. So then I get on social media and I see one of my friends saying that um, the trees smell like fish. And I, I had got a whiff the next day and I was like, oh my God, it is the trees for real. It is a fish tree. No, I'm playing. I have never smelled that before in my life. So to notice stuff like that like that says a lot like our land really needs to heal and i feel like right now that is that time i want to do one thing she ain't know nothing about this but um this this blog is focused around us our relationship and and we want to have a successful marriage we want to have a successful relationship um, I want to do one thing. She ain't even know I was going to do this. It just popped up on my head. You know what I'm saying? But um, can you tell me what is your love languages? Uh, my top What's love language. What's your top language? one? My What's top, your top one? My number one is quality time. My number two is acts of service. Hmm? I thought it was gifts. No, gifts was the very last one. You lied to me, man. No, I didn't lie to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your love language? My love language is um, <clears throat> acts of service, for sure, and uh, words of affirmation. Um, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, there is um, there are books, there's programs where you can fill out like a survey or fill out like a form, and you can mm -hmm. find out what your love language is. Knowing the love language of your spouse, it helps you to love them the way that they need to be loved mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna put the link down here somewhere, probably down here somewhere, where you can go and you can um, go look go look up that information. Um. So yeah, we we just thank you guys for um, for tuning in. Uh, we want you to subscribe. We want you to come back. We want to do, do these videos at least like once once a week. Um, you might see some reviews. You might see some pranks. You might see us doing a travel uh, a travel review. Uh, we'll have like relationship topics. We there might be some weeks where we'll have um, some couple guests and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions um comments please leave them so that we may answer them to the best of our knowledge we will try and be as transparent as possible um and once again we appreciate y'all mm -hmm. um thanks for tuning in make sure you subscribe make sure you share and make sure you come back and view us be blessed y'all see ya mm -hmm. what Trying to look at it already, like. What does that nigga? Intro, career, father, ministry, daytime. What's daytime? Day and time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our vlog. This is Nick and Monty, or Monty and Nick. How do we want to do that? <laughs> already jacking up. <laughs> My name is Kimani. Hey. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we welcome you for joining us. I we thank church. you for joining us. <laughs> yes, you do. It. It's late, man. It's 2 o'clock and I'm tripping. Okay. All right. uh, um, the purpose of this vlog, uh, vlog, we wanted to start this vlog. Uh, several months ago. Hey, it's my turn uh, still. Oh, dang. You was gone? Why are you going to be over there humming and not saying nothing? I was like, mm-mm. Oh, go ahead. So, um, we've see? been married for oh, 15 okay. years in July. Um, 22 all together in November. So, this is my high school sweetheart. We've been together since I was 14. He was 16. Hey, man. Nigga, why you have to say that? Make me sound like a pervert. I'm cutting that out.